Hi guys, I am back with more melting pearls. So that is my base coat, a very nice light gray. That is Hippie Crafter Burnt Umber, which is a mica powder. This is beautiful color art or, oh, that's another one. It's Fuchsia by Hippie Crafter, which I'm not as happy with those as I am with these, these color arts. Um, that is Primary Elements Spicy Apricot. Reminds me a lot of Nicolazzo Gold. That's a nice Payne's Gray by Lucas Krill. And White, which is Modern Masters Iridescent Pearl and Golden Fluid Titanium White. These are all mixed the same. I'll put the recipes below. And then that's a nice kind of Charvin Indigo um, bloom paint. I thought I might use it a little bit here, but this is not a bloom painting. It's a pearl painting. So it's got the satin enamel base coat. And this is a nice 12 by 12 inch cradle board that I get at Jerry's. It's a Da Vinci is the brand. So I'm continuing with these experiments and really, really liking the results. It's something I'm going to kind of try to refine. Uh, so I started with the white and then I went with the um, spicy apricot and some of this magenta and fuchsia. And then I did a, that nice dark Payne's gray on top. And just kind of spreading it out like I do um, a pearl pour, just like a nice puddle of paint that gets spread around the canvas. And what you're seeing here is, and I do recall, okay, so the fuchsia by the Hippie Crafter fuchsia, I actually did add some color art pigment into that. And what that pigment does in this application is it kind of blends and bleeds out into the base coat. So it causes this really pretty subtle kind of ethereal look to the piece. And then it also pearls really well. So, you know, you get these kind of pigmented pearls with multicolors happening. Um, it's just a very, you know, subtle and I think pretty unique look. So I hope you like it. Uh, it's kind of cool. So I took the tape off of these when they were dry and it exposed the wood on the sides of the cradle board, which I really like. And then uh, I do want to forewarn you, I did in my last video about this, about the varnishing process. So what you want to do, uh, varnish can lift this pigment into the varnish. So there is a product called Kamar, K-A-M-A-R, and Krylon makes a Kamar varnish. And Kamar varnish is also used on alcohol ink. I think it's the only alcohol ink or the only varnish you can use on alcohol ink. So it has a property. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it does not lift the color up off the canvas or the board into the pigment. So once you use the Kamar varnish, you can use any other varnish on top of that. You can do a, a gloss or a, another spray varnish and whatever you would like to do. So... I hope you enjoy these. Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I would appre appreciate that. And I've got some great content in my Patreon account and products in my Amazon shop. So, you know, I, th those things are all helpful to me in my um, my art business. And, and I do also sell my art. So there's lots of prints and some originals for sale on my website. More than anything, I'm just glad you're here. I hope you're getting some inspiration and having a creative break to your day. Um, I know that making art for me is such a reprieve. I was just talking to somebody about that, about how you break away from fixing something to creating something. And I can always kind of sense when that happens. Sometimes it's halfway through the process. Sometimes it's towards the end, sometimes at the beginning. And that's always where I like to get get to is to the that natural flow and the creative moment. So I hope you all have yours today as well and much love you guys. Take great care. Bye.